A hearty welcome back to the Proximus Gaming YouTube channel. My name is Michael and in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to get the Champion's Letters, also known as an improved version of the Champion's Tunic. But before we jump into the video, please give this video a like. That helps with the discoverability of this channel a lot and that is what we need to grow. What we also need to grow is more subscribers. So please, subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet, so you won't miss my future content and other awesome upcoming videos of The Legend of Zelda and any other games. Well, are we ready to go? Let's roll the intro. Our search of the Champion's Ladders start in Hateno Village. At the main entrance, just walk towards your old house. And with old house, I mean the house that was you, that you actually built in the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Now, of course, this house belongs to Princess Zelda herself. Walk over the bridge and walk towards the house. When you arrive at the house, just go around it, towards the well, that is at the back of the house. And go inside of the well, Zelda's secret well to be precise. There's her diary, and let's read it. Though the calamity is over, its scars remain. A mountain of problems stands before us even as we begin to rebuild. No matter where I go to offer aid, Link remains at my side. A kindness that has taken an invisible toll on its clothing. That's why I've put an order in for a new and improved champion's tunic, just for him. I just can't wait to see the look on his face when I surprise him with it. I'll hide it in the throne room, so he won't find it until after our investigation. Even he would never expect that the torches are the key. Now you would be able to get the A New Champion's Tunic side quest. I already picked it up, so it's in my log. According to Princess Zelda's diary, a new and improved Champion's Tunic is hidden in the throne room of Hyrule Castle. She wrote that the tortures are the key, but what does that mean? To continue our search, we have to travel through Lookout Landing. Just go to the tower and launch yourself up into the sky. And now just use your paraglider and glide towards Hyrule Castle. This is much easier if you have one of the first sages with you, which is Chulin from the Rito tribe. Also, make sure you have enough stamina. That makes things much easier. It is key that we get to the throne room. And the throne room is basically the same room as that in Breath of the Wild we fell down to fight Calamity Ganon. By the way, I also stream games such as The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom live on Twitch. Link to my Twitch channel is in the description down below, so please feel free to check it out and have a nice conversation about Zelda and if you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Just glide down and walk all the way into the throne room itself. It might be possible that you encounter some enemies on your way here, depending if you already went to Hyrule Castle or not. When in the throne room, just walk up the stairs and here, just before the throne, you can see two torches. 
Now we just have to light them. And the easiest way to light them is with the use of... Not shock fruit, exactly fire fruit. Just throw them in, one at a time. All right, now they're lit and the vault opens itself. Now turn around, climb up. And there's the treasure chest, open it. And we got the champion's letters. This garment worn by those in good standing with Hyrule royalty has been reworked with the latest improvements, such as a new shoulder guard. A new champion's tunic, side quest complete. Now we can just put it on. So congrats, we actually have the champion's letters, or known as the improved champion's tunic. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you thought this was difficult. This was Michael, signing off now. See ya.